Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here. And what's been really interesting to hear in recent days and weeks has been how various Democrat elites in this country have handled the sexual assault accusations that have been made of presumed 2020 Democrat presidential nominee Joe Biden, especially when you contrast those reactions to the allegations against Biden with these Democrats' reactions to the allegations that were made against now Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh back in the summer of 2018. The latest top Democrat to weigh in on the Biden accusations is the top Democrat in the U.S. Senate, Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer says that Biden's denial of the allegations against him is, quote, sufficient compared to Schumer saying that the allegations made against Brett Kavanaugh, and Kavanaugh, of course, denied the allegations made of him, but Schumer said that the allegations made against Kavanaugh were, quote, extremely credible. So Chuck Schumer said that the allegations against Kavanaugh were extremely credible, but the allegations against Biden, oh, those can be immediately dismissed because of Biden's denial. That was sufficient, the denial. So, yeah, quite the double standard being employed here by Chuck Schumer. What's worth noting, too, is that the accusations against Joe Biden, they are inherently more credible than the accusations that were made against Brett Kavanaugh by Christine Blasey Ford. Uh, look, this show is said all along, and it maintains innocent until proven guilty, including Joe Biden. This show is not here to deem Biden innocent or guilty of the allegations that have been made against him. Maybe someday we'll learn what actually happened or did not happen. Maybe we won't. Who knows? But this show is not here to go judging Joe Biden definitively one way or the other. Uh, what this show will note, though, is that in the case of Joe Biden, he is not denied having had contact with the individual who's accusing him, this, this former U.S. Senate staffer. Uh, Biden at least knew the person and at least had contact with the person. In the case of Brett Kavanaugh, we have no evidence that him and his accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, ever met. We don't know that they actually knew each other, that Kavanaugh actually knew this woman who is accusing him. So right there, the accusation against Joe Biden is immediately more credible than the accusation against Brett Kavanaugh. But again, uh, there is no evidence that Biden is guilty. We're not trying to say that he is at this time. But you have various Democrat elites in this country passing judgment right away. They're not waiting for the facts to come out. They're not waiting to, to actually learn what happened. No, for people like Chuck Schumer, uh, they're immediately saying that Brett Kavanaugh was guilty of what he was accused of doing. And then they're turning around and immediately saying that Joe Biden is innocent of what he's been accused of doing. And the only thing clearly that's dictating these totally inconsistent responses from these top Democrats is political affiliation. For people like Chuck Schumer, who's a total partisan hack, they see that uh, that Brett Kavanaugh is a constitutionalist, he's a conservative, so he must immediately be guilty for that reason. Believe all women, shout mindless fools like Chuck Schumer. Oh, but when it comes to Joe Biden, Joe Biden, he he's on the Democrats' team. Yeah, he he's a liberal, so you know what? He gets a pass. He, he immediately gets believed. We immediately dismiss the accusations against him. Believe all women, unless... They're accusing a Democrat like Joe Biden. That has become Chuck Schumer and the Democrat Party's approach to these accusations against Joe Biden. And Schumer, Pelosi, Hillary Clinton, the list goes all on. All these Democrats who have employed this double standard, uh, immediately rushing to judgment uh, on Kavanaugh saying he's guilty, but then immediately rushing to judgment to say Biden is innocent when we don't have evidence that Biden is innocent or guilty. They're showing that all they care about is partisan politics. This is all that dictates their thought process. They don't care about factual information. They don't care about the truth about what really happened. All they care about is partisan politics. The only reason they're giving Joe Biden a pass is because they view him as politically useful in the November election. And that's why they're trying to claim that the guy's innocent when they don't know that. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. They don't know. You don't know. I don't know. But they're rushing to judgment to say that he is. This is why you should not take people like Chuck Schumer seriously. They are not credible individuals. Rather, they are raging partisan hacks. That's all the time that we have for today. The John Muir Show, each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.